Example one here, the first thing that I would do is I would do that power property by bringing that coefficient up as a power. Okay, so I'm going to take these coefficients, bring them up as powers, okay, like so. Okay, so if we simplify that a little bit further, you can see this is going to be log base 3 of x to the negative 1 half plus log base 3 of y cubed squared, because I brought that 2 up, and then over here we have minus log base 3 of 2 to the 1 third power. Okay, now just to simplify a little bit more, when you have a negative exponent, that tells you to take the reciprocal. And remember, the 1 half power is actually the square root. So this is actually going to be log base 3 of 1 over the square root of x. Okay, this one over here, log base 3 of y to the 6th power, because remember, power to power you multiply. And then over here we have log base 3, and then the 1 third power is actually the cube root of 2. So remember the denominator is the root and the numerator is the power, okay, with these rational exponents. And then the next step, what we're going to do is when you add, you multiply the arguments, but when you subtract, you divide. So what we're going to do is we're going to condense this all into one log now. So we've got log base 3 of 1 over the square root of x. Okay, multiply by y to the 6, so I'm going to write y to the 6th in the numerator, and then here we're subtracting, so that's like dividing, so I'm going to put that in the denominator, the cube root of 2. And then that's basically it. You could leave it like that, or if you wanted to take it a step further, you could rationalize the denominator to get rid of these radicals in the denominator, but for right now I'm going to leave it just like that. Okay, so for example number 2, same idea, we want to try to condense it down into one log. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring these coefficients up as powers. So I'm going to take the 3, bring that up as a power, and so on. So that's going to give us log base 2 of x to the 1 fifth power plus log base 2 of y. Okay, and all that's being multiplied by 1 half. And then over here, minus log base 2 of z cubed, because we brought that 3 up. Okay, now let's work with the inside the parentheses here. When we add, as long as we have the same base, which we have base 2, we can multiply those arguments together. So we can write this as log base 2 of x to the 1 fifth y, okay? And then you can see that 1 half in front. Now remember, when you have that coefficient, you can bring this up as a power. So I'm just going to show that right there. And then uh, over here we have minus log base 2 of z cubed. Okay, now when you have a power to a power, you multiply, right? So we don't see it, but there's actually a 1 there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute that 1 half to both of those uh, exponents. So we have log base 2 of x to the 1 tenth power now, y to the 1 half power. Okay, and remember when we subtract, what do we do? We divide, right? So this, whatever you're subtracting, that part is going to go in the denominator. So this is over z cubed. And we can leave it like that, but I'm going to simplify it a little bit more. I'm going to say this is log base 2. x to the 1 tenth power is really like the tenth root of x. y to the 1 half power is like the square root of y. And that's all over z cubed. And I'm just going to put a bracket around all of that. So what we did is we condensed this all into one logarithm. So I hope that helps you to understand how to work with condensing logs a little bit better. I'll put a link to another video that I did talk about talking about condensing logs if you want some more practice. And then lastly, you know, if you're preparing for the ACT or the SAT, check out my two courses, my huge ACT math review video course and my huge SAT math review video course, and I'll have links for those in the description. So I'll talk to you in the next video, and uh, we'll do some more math then.